Welcome back, everyone. One of the biggest economic problems our country faces is unemployment. Many potential employers are reluctant to hire those who have been out of work for a number of different reasons. Author Wendy Powell joins us now to discuss this problem. Welcome, Wendy. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, the numbers are not good. Uh, you just said that uh, unemployment is now 9.6 percent. 9.6, yes. That's mm -hmm. scary. Yes, it is. Very, very much scary. so. How long has it been since we've had such high unemployment numbers? Oh, it's been uh, about 20 years, actually, and it's been increasingly incre uh, going up. In fact, it was going down slightly mm -hmm. but it, it there was an influx based on the census it went down slightly and now it's going back up because the census workers are now being laid off and the government is now starting to lay people off that's right so what about employers that are out there do they frown upon the people who have been out of work for a long time do they discount them put those mm -hmm. resumes aside they certainly do I, in fact career builder and monster they are posting jobs that say you must be currently employed to be considered for this job. That's not fair. It's no. not fair. So it's really a stigma that the unemployed carry around with them, even if they're great workers, even if they've been with one company for 20 years and find themselves laid off or unemployed or cut back. Um, they could be a great person, but employers are going, eh, I don't know, you know I don't uh, well, the, feel the, good about you. Yeah, the general assumption is that if people are not working right now, that there must be something wrong with them, as opposed to the company that had to lay them off. Mm -hmm. And people are having a heck of a time with that. And, you know, it's just really against our American values to con not consider people who are unemployed. It's not a relevant bona fide occupational qualification. Right. What should people who are unemployed then do who've been laid off? Should they not mention that or, or how do you get around this? Well they have to be truthful on their application because if they're not they're going to be terminated in very quick order. Right. But what they need to do is write an incredible cover letter that explains to the employer why they can't afford not to have them. Mm -hmm. What they have done in their previous employment and what they plan to do. These candidates need to research the company, research the issues and the values and identify what particularly in detail they are planning on, on making it so impossible that this company would pass them by. Uh, companies, on the other hand, can select processes through Career Builder and Monster where they will weed out the candidates for them. They will make sure they ask the specific questions that identifies who is qualified and who is not. And it's hopeful that these, these employers will change their mind. Mm. And when you also consider the fact that there are so many employers who, instead of laying off their employees, they have had their employees take concessions or people have volunteered as opposed to laying people off. They'll take the reduction in pay, reduction in vacation, reduction in 401k. Reduction so in it, hours, whatever it yeah, takes, shift it, work. And it doesn't even consider those figures. And also that figure doesn't include the people who have given up. Some people just throw in the towel. They just they forget do. it, right? So they take unemployment, and that doesn't help any of us. That's right. Now, you've, had, you've written a book, and it's called Management Experience Acquired. <laughs> what yes. can people take away from this? The reason I wrote the book was most specifically to prepare managers for the next level or to prepare them in case they lose their job. So it provides them with examples. And it also deals with the catch-22, where people can't get jobs that require management experience if they don't have management experience. This book in and of itself does not provide them with management experience, but it sure provides them with cases for analysis and how they, how they need to look at themselves in their goal setting. Back to the people who are out of work, because that's yes. a lot of people who are watching right now. I know I've heard this before, that, that some potential employers have had the person come to them with a woe is me kind of attitude like oh I've been down on my luck in my last job they were horrible and they let you the last thing you want to do is is do that right you don't want to talk about how how awful things have been for you I oh, mean you want yes. them to want you but you can't be coming in there desperate oh you don't go in and lament uh, no no question about it because they're assuming that the person will work for them and lament all the time as well right sure. so that's the bottom line. You do not go in and complain about the previous employer. Ever. You, yes, and you talk, <laughs> you talk about your successes. You talk about how you've kept yourself current in the job market. Good. No sob stories. Yeah. No <laughs> sob stories. Okay, All right, well, Wendy Pell, thank you so much. She's written Management Experience Acquired. Hope things get better out there. Stick around. Still to come on daytime, all kinds of great stuff. In fact, we're gearing up for some tailgating, but you might uh, be surprised by what's on the menu.